Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke today. We're in Luke chapter 18 and verses 24 to 30. Let's listen. And when Jesus saw that he became very sorrowful, he said, How hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. For it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. And those who heard it said, Well, who then can be saved? But he said, The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Then Peter said, See, we have left all and followed you. So he said to them, Assuredly, I say to you, there is no one who has left house or parents or brothers or wife or children for the sake of the kingdom of God, who shall not receive many times more in this present time and in the age to come eternal life. So there's questions here about the eye of the needle and so on. I'm not going to enter into that question. Uh, what we do notice here that whatever, however that works out, guess what? Jesus is telling us how hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. Again, we're on the same thing we talked about yesterday morning, the deluded materialist. Some of, uh, there's some of that deluded materialist, we have that in all of us. And so uh, that makes it especially hard when you're all in the material. There's nothing spiritual in, in your tuning. So we need to let God tune us so that the spiritual is the dominant feature in our thinking, in our valuation, in all that we do. Now, uh, these people say, well, because they thought that, oh, that, the rich, that richness was a blessing. And when somebody drives by in a, in, a, in a big, rich car, they would say, oh, look, that's a person that's being blessed by God. A lot of times that's not the way it is, okay? Who then can be saved, the disciples asked Jesus. And he says, with, with men... That would be impossible, but not with God. So then Peter points out and he says, well, look, we've left everything, you know, and we followed you. And Jesus says, this is quite interesting here. He says, in this life, we will receive many gifts from heaven. So if you're kind of worried about that, like uh, if I become a Christian, I'm going to have to give up everything I have and I'm going to die a poor person. I won't have any retirement. You know, I won't have any. Well, well as a Christian, you'll have, you'll have quite the retirement, eternity. Um, but. But here, notice that in this life, God promises he will bless us. So he will give you what you need. He'll give you what will most help you towards heaven in this life. And that is more important to have than a big whatever item that your next door neighbor might be satisfied with. God calls you and I to a higher standard, a higher standard, to a spiritual standard. We're marching to Zion. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us. Help us to uh, enter into your kingdom. Help us so that we are spiritually minded and that that works its way out into the world through us in a very practical way. Oh, Lord, be our leader. Deliver us from trusting in stuff. And now, Lord, we ask for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, even though we're not going to be trusting in stuff, Jesus promises that here and now we'll get some stuff. We'll receive the things that are needed for us to do the work that he gives us to do in the time we're here. 